detection range on all ships gets nuked, gets cut in half, basically. And the AA spins up slowly and spins down. All this really means is, if you're trying to move to a section in the map, and you're in like a Des Moines, Des Moines aerial detection right now is like six. Well, that drops it to three. That turns it into a destroyer level sneaky ass detection stuff. So it's easier for you to move and take positions without the brutal amount of spotting or at least easy information when the planes get kind of close to you, they see you. Now they have to get really close to you to see you. So it'd be very hard for a CV to spot both flanks, for instance. Well, you only get that if your AA is turned off and then you have to turn it on and blah, blah, blah. Here's a better way to think about this. A Des Moines kills one and a half planes when you attack it. Maybe it kills two or something with defensive fire up. But basically, if I'm going to charge it with rocket planes and I'm going to strike that bitch, I'm going to lose one and a half to two planes. That's what I'm going to do. And right now, if this Des Moines is trying to be sneaky, he cuts his AA off, he's down to three kilometers. If I trip over the Des Moines, maybe, maybe I can slam the air brakes on and happen to get a strike in. And when he goes, ah, fuck, he turns on his AA, it starts shooting me, but it's like slowly getting stronger. What did we really lose in this situation? Instead of losing two planes for the privilege of being able to hit him, he's going to use uh, priority sector, which is probably not going to be hindered by the AA percentage bullshit anyway. You're just going to take full damage from that. And then you're going to take some continuous damage while the shit's spinning up. And you get struck. So instead of killing one and a half to two planes, maybe he kills one plane. So effectively, for the difference of losing one plane, you have increased your stealth immensely. I mean, I'm okay with that. If you know you're in a situation where the enemy knows where you are, you're spotted by a DD, you're spotted by something, by all means, leave your AI on. Fuck it. Who cares? But if you're trying to move between two situations... Don't think of it as, you know, well, I'm not able to defend myself. That's really not the best way to think of it. Think of it as how much less damage am I doing against the first strike? So instead of doing two planes worth of damage, you did one. Because the priority sector is going to take a big chunk out of a full squadron. And then the little trickle bullshit AA that you're going to do is probably going to finish it off. Even more if you're in a group of two or three ships that all hit priority sector at the same fucking time because, oh shit, we just got spotted. That's poof, one and a half planes right there. And then the AA is going to warm up and kill some more shit. And the planes may actually be too close to even shoot. So it's a buff to surface ships, which is okay. It's completely okay. It allows them to maneuver on the map, which again is completely okay. It makes the CV's job a little harder, but the CV can still do the job. You can still tell the CV, spot this side flank, do this thing, and they absolutely can. So I don't see that as, it doesn't destroy what CVs can do. Um, it does actually kind of nerf what a Holland can do. The Holland doesn't have the surprise motherfucker, blah, you know, crazy ass damage. But at the same time, if you're in a DD, you really don't want to turn your AA on against rocket planes. Why? Because you'll get shot. The only difference with the Holland is it did so much incredible damage that it may kill all the fucking planes before it gets to the Holland. So, I mean, that's a risk reward situation, but no other ship does that. So if you're in a DD and you see rocket planes and you're in a Holland, leave your AA off for a little while until you know he's not in a position to strike me and I don't mind if I'm spotted and then shoot him a while and then cut your AA off. Um, mostly the AA for destroyers is when the torps are coming and they're coming for your cruisers, they're coming for your battleships, and you're in a situation where you can lend a hand and chip a plane off of the squadron before it comes in. So it this change maybe even helps destroyers more correctly, well, play the game. I won't say find their niche. I don't know what the realistic situation is, but like... As long as they realize, if I leave my A on and the rocket plane see me, I'm going to get shot easier, maybe. But it makes it harder if you keep it off, because fucking the DD spotting is like one kilometer or one and a half, so there's almost no way you can shoot the bastard short of dropping a fighter over his head to spot him. Um, but if there's bombs or there's torps or something coming in for a friendly, a friendly ship, you can pop your A on to try to help. So, TLDR... I think it's interesting. 
I'm still confused about this 30% higher than maximum value thing. If it actually reveals the ship or doesn't. If it doesn't reveal the ship and it's like, oh, oh, what the fuck, flak puffs? I don't know where this is coming from, but I need to be on high guard. I'm not against that. But you could probably trim it down to 10 or 15%. I don't think 30% is... 30% seems high. It, it, it does seem large to me. Um, so I don't know about that. Maybe they tweak that down. But everything else seems okay. They may change the AA defense to spin up in 4 seconds instead of 7. I mean, whatever. But uh, uh, so far as what I see, I'm not against the concept. And it seems like it would be definitely successful at allowing people to get into positions and stuff.